What's up, you guys? It's payday again. Wednesday morning, February 8th. I just got my my GoPuff payment. And they screwed around, shorted my, my pay again, so I'm a little annoyed by that. But um, I do these videos to like show my credentials and to uh, show my strategy of how, you know, I only work part of the year, most of the year, and then I... I take the, you know, June, July, and August off for sure, and sometimes some of the end of May. So I, I wanted to bring that up again for the new subscribers and the new viewers, that this is just my my personal strategy on how to play the gig worker career, is by, I just max the shit out of my hours for nine months, and then get all my days off at once instead of taking weekends off or whatever Monday, Tuesday off, you know, the slower days. I just, I want all my days off at once. And here in the Phoenix area, the, the summer usually sucks for a lot of businesses and especially for gig workers. So, but yeah, the, the GoPuff shorted my pay, you know, it's carried over. It's in my balance. So it's not, you know, they didn't, didn't rip me off, but they it pisses me off because it's not happening to the other drivers. So I'm ta I've, I've recruited three fellow GoPuff drivers now as, as subscribers on this channel, and a couple of them are the late night. They work all the way till it closes on Sunday, just like I do. So I don't know. It's not happening to them. They're not. Their pay is matching their their deposits matching their their pay screen. So I don't know if I have to stop working Sundays. To, to prevent this because I'm I'm showing my damn pay to thousands of people every week so why the hell is it it's only this shit can happen to me you know but I'll show you what I'm talking about here I had a decent week I had pretty good without DoorDash I'm doing just fine so let me show you the total there's the goat puff that just came through it should have been like nine ninety nine and change. It's about eighty something shorted. Actually, it's I figured it out eighty four sixty four less than it should be. There's the Uber. Uber is always a little little different, but not but not a huge amount like this GoPuff. It's like a, a tip short. So this total for the week that I actually received is $1,707.67, so just over $1,700. Should have been almost eighteen again. So I just realized as I'm going over this before I started the video that the GoPuff seems to be a way more efficient. I know exactly what hours to do GoPuff, and if you pull up to the building and there's a ton of cars, then you just leave. So, check the, remember these hours. 64 hours and 35 minutes on Uber. And Uber, you know, I turn the Uber on when the GoPuff closes, and I can sit for two hours sometimes. I can fall asleep. Like, it's no longer busy from 4 to 6 a.m. like it used to be. Hundred and ten deliveries. So I think I did like Twenty less hours or over twenty less hours on GoPuff with a higher payout. So here's my current balance and there's the you know the available balance. So my pay is in there, but why are you screwing with it? It says that it it does this on Tuesdays. Process a, process your weekly pay on Tuesdays. So, why is it not correct? What could possibly cause them to not give me my whole week's pay? 
and carry it over if they do it on Tuesdays. Because Sunday at 2.30, or Monday morning at 2.30 is when the place closes. That right there should be my weekly pay and should be correct. <clears throat> See, it should have been this plus what they shorted me last week. And it's it's only just over nine was the, what got put into my bank. But check out these hours. 37.91 hours. Uber's was what, 63 for less money, so. But I'm only doing the GoPuff. I mean, if I pull up and there's nowhere to park, then I just drive off and do Uber. So that's kind of why, but. The, the GoPuff pay cut, I don't want to continue to dwell on it, but it cost me a $116.83 this week. This will probably be the last time I even calculate that. But this week was a full week of the, they call it variable base pay. Got the bonus. So that $80 shortage, I can't find it. Like it's not the Sunday, it's not the full Sunday. I did 10685 on Sunday, so I don't know why. They had to carry over, what was it, $84.64 is what they they carried over to next week's. Let me show you the, I'm going to show you that, how it says variable. How do I get out of this? Got to go to the facility information. And then, Variable base pay is what they call it. It's just randomly different, way lower. That weight pay is if you schedule, and my facility doesn't have scheduling. So, so now the instead of three twenty-five per delivery, it's just whatever they feel like doing. And of course, they you know they massively slash it when you're doing multiple. I did a five delivery for the first time get fours, you get threes, you get doubles. So it's, it's, it's worth it. And it's, I like the doing it better. I like the work better. You don't have to deal with the restaurants bullshit. And we can't make the shake. Can you call them? You can't substitute a damn shake. They're like $8. You can't substitute it. There's nothing in that Jack in the box that's going to substitute that shake. So this, this, app this gig work is way less stressful you just pull up to the building wait for it to alert you that you've got some and you go in and grab the bags out of the bin numbers and then you go to the drop them off so but you you could you do no tip orders it doesn't show you what you can't cherry pick you have to just take what you get and do it so it's it's way different, and I probably wouldn't even have tried it if it didn't get deactivated on DoorDash. So, but it's I like it better. I actually, like it better. It's, it's I feel better during the the GoPuff shift than I do. You know, declining all the stupid ones that Uber gives. Uber's been giving me the stupidest like far away where there's no way there's not another car. There's no way that there's not another car right by that restaurant that I've never been to that I would never will go to. So. Anyway, it's not as, as happy of a payday video, but I'm just annoyed by this. Mainly annoyed by this, how they're shorten, the, shorten my pay. And I don't want to not work this Sunday on GoPuff, because it's Super Bowl Sunday, and they sell beer and White Claws and liquor and chips and soda, and they sell everything. So I know the GoPuff will be way busier all Sunday over Uber Eats, because last Super Bowl Sunday, the, when I was doing just DoorDash and Uber Eats, it wasn't even that any better, so, and I know that the GoPuff will, it was awesome last Sunday during the playoffs, so, anyway, we'll see what happens with that, but I might test out the week after Super Bowl Sunday, I might test out not doing it on Sundays, because I'm, I'm tired of them screwing with the pay, so, there's no one I can call about it, 
And, you know, it pisses me off more that they're not doing it to the other drivers, my fellow GoPuff drivers. So if you call, the, you know, the, they'll just give you the overseas call center. So I can't really, I don't think I can resolve it by, by trying to take any action on it. I just have to figure it out myself and cut out the, you know, the final day of the week. Or I don't know what that, what, the, what would cause them to, to short that 80 something dollars if they're processing it on Tuesday. There's no, I can't see any reason why I don't get the full pay, but only me, the guy that, that shows his bank's, you know, deposit and compares it with the, shows the breakdown of the apps would that happen to, right? So anyway, that was it, $1,707.67. So still got the decent cash flow going during the, the after the holidays, you know, slow down. So we'll see what happens this week with Super Bowl. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Later.